Good morning from Las Vegas, 7 a.m. here in Sin City. And we're about to break down where all the sharp money is flowing today on Tuesday and on through the week. We're talking about NBA playoffs. Teddy covers from wagertalk.com with your opening line report. Brand new show every day, nice and early. We'll talk about where the market's moving and why the markets are moving in that direction. Today, we're going to start in the association. Two games tonight and then a bunch of games for the weekend. And we're seeing significant Pelicans money against the Lakers over the last, really, 12 hours. Last night, we were looking at New Orleans minus one. There were even some pickums. This morning, the markets moved to one and a half. There are twos out there. And it's clear the wise guys like the Pelicans to rebound from Sunday's loss to L.A. and get the W here. Of course, even with... New Orleans minus one and a half at home. Home court edge in the NBA is at least one and a half, two points. The markets are not saying the Pelicans are the better of these two teams. They're saying at least they're even and they expect a better performance from New Orleans tonight compared to what we saw over the weekend. So definitely sharp money for New Orleans. We're also really, I mean, Warriors, Kings, there's not a whole lot going on in this one. I thought this line was going to be all Golden State. Golden State's clearly the public side. There's been wise guy buyback. There's a couple of sharp books down to two. It was all threes yesterday, you know, two and a half, three. They were seeing some of the sharp books drop to two. So there is some legitimate wise guy support for the Kings. Let's not forget all three regular season meetings between those teams were decided by a single a point. In both games, we've seen under money uh, for this evening. No surprise there. We saw under money for basically every playoff game, except for, or certainly all four weekend games with lines have seen under money. Not so much for Atlanta, Chicago. That's taken a little bit of over money, as well as Miami and Philly. Two games we'll talk about tomorrow from a side standpoint. Neither one of those games doing anything today on Tuesday morning couple other things worth noting, but first let me mention, wagertalk.com every Tuesday, one of the hottest handicappers gets to sell a play for two bucks. Well, that's me. <laughs> I've been running real good in NBA for a real long time. I'm the $2 Tuesday capper today, and i got to play tonight in the play-in game. There's no coupon code. There's no bait and switch. There's no nonsense. Just go over to wagertalk.com and get my 5% big ticket play in the NBA for tonight on Tuesday. Just two bucks. No nonsense. Check it out. It's a great way if you're thinking about checking out what wagertalk.com has to offer. This is a chance to get on board for two bucks with a top rated selection. All right, let's talk about some of the action for the weekend because there's really two, one that's super interesting. Cleveland's taking money to win the series against Orlando, and I'm not surprised by that. Um, the Cavs are the playoff veterans, Orlando's the playoff newbies, and in general, in these NBA playoff series, particularly early, but really throughout. The experienced team is going to get the benefit of the doubt from the lines makers and the betters. Cleveland, the playoff experience, at least more than Orlando does. I'm not surprised. The Cavs now up to about minus 190 to win the series, almost two to one favorites. And there is a really interesting scenario for the Clippers and Mavericks, something you see occasionally, but not regularly. Dallas is favored to win the series, but the Clippers are favored in game one. Remember, the line's going to adjust. The series price is going to adjust after every game. So the Clips win game one, you'll get a better line on Dallas for game two. Series price bets and game one bets absolutely correlated. Uh, and, and that's a correlated uh, bet that you're allowed to make. And as I mentioned, all four uh, weekend games in the NBA, we've already seen under money uh, on all of them. I'm not seeing any more significant. I don't see the... Money, money flowing in on the under on any of these right now, but there hasn't been a whole lot of over money for uh, you know Orlando, Cleveland, Phoenix, Minnesota, Indiana, Milwaukee, and Dallas, the LA Clippers, the four games with lines on tap already for Saturday and Sunday. If you like this type of content, and I'm going to do this, I'm really going to try to do it every single weekday, bright and early, quick hitters, um, but if you like this type of comment, please give us a like, give us a thumbs up. I want to hear your take on who you like tonight, who you like this weekend, who you think the sharp side is or the square side is. Give me a comment. And of course, 
If you haven't done so already, there's more than, what, 140,000 of you? I don't even know how many there are anymore. 150,000? There's a boatload of subscribers to the Wager Talk YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already, today's a good day to do it. Let's talk a little MLB before I let you out the door. And again, quick hitter podcast. You're not going to stick around here for 20 minutes. I'm going to be done in 10 or less, I hope, every day. And a lot of days, I'm hoping even five, uh, six, seven minutes. But in MLB action for today, lots of total steam. All right. San Fran, Miami. Sharp money overnight on the over. Pittsburgh and the Mets. Sharp money on the under. And money for the Pirates. And certainly, when you talk about Pittsburgh right now, they've been a hot team all year. And this kid Jones is someone who's getting some attention. Uh, this Pirates starter today. Clearly, we've seen Pittsburgh money. And we've seen under money for that one. It's not like they're fading Quintana. I think they're betting on uh, Jones for Pittsburgh. Under money for Boston and Cleveland as well. Uh, that was 7.5 last night, down to 7 this morning. And Cincinnati, Seattle, another line that was 7.5 last night and is 7 this morning. That's all I got. Bright and early, every day. Hope to see you again tomorrow. Good luck with all your bets on Tuesday. And remember, Check out wagertalk.com. Give me a comment. Appreciate all of your support. Have a great day.